Let's write a C program using macros. So here is our problem statement. Write down macro definitions for the following. First one, to test whether a character is a small case letter or not. Second one, to test whether a character is an uppercase letter or not. Third one, to test whether a character is an alphabet or not. And we need to make use of macros we defined in one and two above. And the fourth one, to obtain the biggest of two numbers. So with this problem statement, it is very clear that we need to define four macros to accomplish these four tasks. What we could do is we could give four options to the user and based on user selection, we could perform specific operations as per user selection. So I think that's it. It's very easy, but, I'll, but the source code might get lengthy, but, but the logic is very easy. So let's straight away get started with our C program. So we already read that we need to find biggest of two numbers. So I'll take two integer variables and we also need to perform operations on characters. So I'll take a character variable. As I said, you let's give some options to the user. So let us display what, what options user has got. So I'll write printf. Um, first choice is check if entered character is upper or lower case. And let me copy this printf and paste it. So the second option is check if entered character is alphabet or not. And the third one, third choice is find, let me remove this, find biggest of two numbers. So now let us ask the user to enter his choice. So another printf statement here, slash n, not pipe symbol, slash n. So enter your choice. Scan f. Let me take, let me take percentage c character here. I'll show you a bug here, interesting bug. Uh, learning which you will you will avoid a lot of bugs in the future. So let me take character itself for this input of user choice. Now, as you might have already guessed, we need switch case statements from here. Switch of choice, user choice, we have three cases. Remember, it's not one as number, but it's a character. So enclose it with single quotes, oops. Case one, case two, and case three, because we have case one, case two, and case three. And in case if a user enters something else other than one, two, three, let's execute whatever is present inside the default block. Now, for case one, let's get started with our logic. So I'll ask the user to enter a character. Scan F store the user entered character inside the character variable ch. Interestingly, we have a bug here, but it's not very apparent here. So I'll, I'll show you how to fix it, okay? So this case is for this choice. We need to check if user entered character is an uppercase or lowercase character. So inside if I'll write is upper and I'll pass the user entered character to it. Similarly, uh, inside else if, else if, I'll write another macro that is is lower and I'll, I'll pass ch to it as well. Inside else block, I'll, I'll ask the user to enter proper choice. After that, let's break off, break out of this case. So here, if is upper returns true or one, I'll print out entered character is uppercase letter. That's it. Let me copy and paste it inside else if block. Now the only difference is it's lowercase letter. If is lower returns true. After that, here I'll write, please enter a valid alphabet. If the user enters anything but alphabet, this 
code inside else block will get executed. Please enter a valid alphabet. That makes sense. Now we need to define these macros. I'll start with is upper. We already know how to define it. We should start with ash define and the macro template. After that, the macro expansion. So ch, we need to check it based on ASCII values. So ASCII value of capital letter A is 65. And if user input characters ASCII value is less than the ASCII less than or equal to ASCII value of Z. So A to Z, whatever is there, the ASCII value between A to Z, what whichever comes in between them should always be an uppercase letter. Now let me define is lower lower. Now check this. Whatever ASCII value comes between 97, which is equal to lowercase a and whatever is less than the ASCII value of lowercase letter z. Now this accomplishes our first, first task to check if user entered character is uppercase or lowercase. Okay. We have character input here. If user inputs anything other than alphabet, the code inside else block gets executed. So we have an error here, but I'll show that to you later on. So this completes our first choice, user choice. Now we need to check for second condition here. We could even write directly here because you chose something other than alphabet, but, but our problem statement stated that we need to use is upper and is lower lower okay let's do that ash define i'll write is alphabet and pass ch to it user input character and in macro expansion i'll make use of is upper and is lower so if user input is comes under is upper that is uppercase letters or if user input is lowercase alphabet then it's an alphabet by the way or else it's not an alphabet so let us make use of is alphabet inside this case too before that let me ask the user to input a character first enter a character and let me store that inside address of character variable ch again we have a bug here which we will look at and fix while executing this program until then keep guessing what might be the bug in this scanf now inside if we have if else here so let me make use of this macro template is alphabet which will be replaced by this macro expansion by preprocessor state preprocessor before compilation okay so if it returns true, then let me print out the message that is entered character is an alphabet. Straightforward, let me copy this and paste it inside else block and display entered character is not an alphabet. After that, enter break keyword here to break out of this case too. So this whole thing completes second user option now let's get to finding biggest of two numbers that is third user choice which is very straightforward let me ask the user to enter two numbers scan f we are using percentage d here since user enters integer numbers so we don't have any bugs here i'll store it inside the address of integer variables a and b i'll write biggest let that be macro template name and pass the user enter numbers a and b and break out of this third case now let us define this macro biggest which takes two arguments a and b so macro expansion here i'll write ternary operators let me write the syntax here inside the condition i'll check if a is greater than b if that's true i'll print out that a is greater so printf here i'll print the value of a if that's not true that is if a is not greater than b then let me print out the value of b here so let me take these printout statements 
to the new line by introducing macro uh, continuation symbol that is backslash. So percentage %d is the biggest and the value is stored inside variable a. Let me bring this printf down by using backslash which is macro continuation symbol. Now let me write the same thing that is percentage %d is the biggest wherein it will print the value of b if b is big. So that's it I guess. So that defines four macros as per our problem statement. But as I said you, there are some errors. So if user chooses anything other than one, two, three, let us print out a nice message that please enter valid choice. That's it. Uh, we could write break after this or leave it because that's the last block of code. Anyway, after executing it, it will break out of this switch. So we need not enter break here. We could safely remove it. So what else? Nothing, I guess. Let me show you the bug introduced because of percentage C here. So let us see. I'll give one to check if user input character is upper or lower. But what is this? It didn't allow us to enter a character. So after the user chooses one, we need to be, we should be allowed to enter the character, right? But what happens is once you enter the choice, which is one and enter it, which is a new line character, which will be taken by this scan of here, which has percentage C. So enter character, which is new line character is not an alphabet. Okay. So it prints enter valid alphabet. So to fix it, you could write double scanfs here. The first scanf takes your new line character that is enter. After that, it will take the character you enter. So let me choose one again. Now it's asking to enter the character. I'll enter capital letter S, which is uppercase letter. Now let me choose one itself, first choice. I'll give smaller letter S. So enter character is lowercase. Now let me choose the same first thing and I'll enter dollar sign. So enter a valid alphabets, alphabet, sorry. So this is working properly. Now the, to fix the bug, we need to write scan of two times, which doesn't look nice, right? So let me remove one scan from here to fix the bug. We could introduce a space here. So this scan already expects a new line character. So once you hit enter, it takes that it, it already knows you will hit a new line character. After that, you will enter your character. So it works. So that's how we could fix this bug. So I'll do the same here too. So let me save this file compile once again and execute it. This time let's check for second option. I'll give capital A, which is an alphabet. So entered character is an alphabet. So let me choose to itself to check if user entered character is an alphabet or not. This time I'll give ampersand symbol, which is not an alphabet. So entered character is not an alphabet. So the second choice is working too. Now let us, let us write do while and, and need not keep executing it each time we want. So let me repeat these things based on user choice. Okay, inside, so let me take a variable repeat here, integer variable. Whenever repeat is positive, this whole thing repeats. Okay, if it's false, then this do while block do block gets then the control exits this do block let me align these stuffs so at the end let me ask the user if he wants to continue or not do you want to continue let let us have a couple of new line characters here so do you want to continue and let us hint the answer that is let them select zero or one zero means false one means true zero means the control exits this do loop one means it will execute once again so percentage d let us store that inside the variable repeat 
so nice use of do while block here so let us check that once again now let us select the third option to find biggest of two numbers I'll give 10 and 11 so 11 is biggest and it's working so I'll give one to continue once again with the choice but look at here it doesn't allow us to enter our choice itself why the same bug we have taken character ch uh, to enter user choice here introduce a space or write this scanf twice that would fix the error let us check that so now let's reproduce the same bug i'll i'll give 10 and 20 20 is the biggest i'll give one now to repeat the code and it's working now enter your choice it's asking for our choice so I'll give capital D, which is a uppercase letter. So one, as you could see there, let us introduce space after user choice here or else it will get cluttered here. So that's very simple. At the end, just write printf statement and optionally you could, you could even introduce f of flush to remove the, any buffer uh, that might have been introduced into your memory so it takes an argument that is stdin which is standard input library file so let us check that so after this user choice there is a gap so it looks more clean now so that's it for now please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic and please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends on whatsapp telegram twitter linkedin facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube and remember to visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for all the source code and notes and please like this video on youtube thank you